All right, welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. It is January 23rd, 2018. January is almost over, man. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Love to have you aboard. Um, also, I'm on steamit.com uh, forward slash currency365. I'm also on Instagram and I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. So you guys can hit me up there if you want to as well. Um, okay, so let's get started here and let's see what's going on. We're going to check out the big four and then we'll check out the top 100 and I'll be back later with all coin mania. So let's check it out. Um, so this is the big four. So Bitcoin on Coinbase here. We did have a sell signal come in a couple days back. Eh, I guess it was yesterday or before. Yeah, yesterday. Sometime during yesterday, it was, uh, it happened. So today's candle. Uh, we still have, um, well, we got about nine hours, less than, oh, less than nine hours to go on this candle. So we'll see how it plays out. You know, it came down and it touched that $10,000 mark. And then it, uh, you know, and then the bulls took over and started buying the dip. So right now we're, you know, we're we're lower than this support line, but we're not, but we're I mean, lower than this. Uh, yeah, we broke the support line and now we're probably most likely going to close below that. So now we're going to be testing this, uh, you know, 10,000. Right now we bounced off of that. So, so far so good bouncing off that 10,000. Let's see if we just, you know, maybe linger here for a little bit and then start to go back up. Or if we break that 10,000, we'll come right back down to this 9,000. And hopefully we'll, we'll end it right here. If not, we'll be going down to about that 75 to 85 nine thousand you know in the, the between that 75 to nine thousand range that i talked about will be right in that area and then that will give us a reversal uh doji we'll, we'll have some type of massive dragonfly doji or, re, or reversal doji this should be able to hold but if we don't you know this reversal should be able to hold but if we don't then we will need another one down here but a bullish green one and it should be some type of dragonfly reversal doji or something like that to indicate the bottom the real real bottom is in i'm hoping this holds here it should hold um okay because we've had so much selling uh you know and and uh in the last few weeks I mean, this there can't be possibly more people selling right uh how much sellers is there right especially down in this bottom you would think there'd be more buyers down here than sellers knowing that we're right at the correction zone right and so we got a little bit more days i'm gonna linger out here maybe for a couple more days and that's it and then we should be able to get some type of reversal candle or some type of uh dragonflies can whatever we're gonna get something to indicate the bottom is truly in and then we'll come up here we'll test this uh we'll break that downward trend you need to just draw a line right here and we'll break that that trend line okay and then we'll break out of it and you'll see because the volume will be nice we'll break out of it and we'll come up here and we'll test this uh 15,000 13.8 whatever it is 13.888 whatever uh, 14,000 mark. We'll test that. Maybe come up here and then test it again. Come back, test it again, and break it, and then we'll head to 20,000. Okay, and then we'll finally, you know, do what we got to do. Go to 20,000. Go to 30,000. Come back to 20. Test 20 again as support. You know, go back to 30,000. Go to 40 and 50. Come back to 30. Test that as support. You know, we'll do that. We'll be we'll be having fun. Okay, because this right here is just not. This is not fun. This is not fun for a lot of people, right? Unless you're a day trader and you can make money at the bottom here, sell at the round here, get in here, sell here, you know, get in here at 10,000, sell here, you know, at, at 10,400 and make some money, okay? But other more, majority of people, this is not fun. This is not fun and it's boring. It's boring for many people, right? Going, we, we want to see this thing go up and swing and up and swing. That's fun for many people, right? So just lingering, going on a downtrend is not fun for a lot of people. Um... Bitcoin cash, same thing here. Okay, so there's a nice line here. We did break that on the wick today. Uh, we also broke it yesterday on the wick as well, but we haven't broke this one. So 13, basically 1350 uh, is the bottom here. And this is what we want to see for Bitcoin, um, for Bitcoin somewhere down here. We want to see some a climax, but we want to see a bottom climax with a with a with a uh, you know with, with the buy, bulls buying it up reversal. 
uh, for Bitcoin at some point. Either that or a straight up reversal candle. Um, you know what I mean? So hopefully we'll see something like that with by by Friday, by Friday or Saturday. Remember, Friday is the nice is the is the day of the um of the uh, what do you call it? the futures, right? So by Friday we want to see a climax and a reversal. Okay, so something like this or or every normal reversal candle. Do we have one here for? Uh, uh, no, we do not have one. Yeah, we don't have one. Okay. Um. Yeah. So don't have too many reversal candles here for uh for uh, Bitcoin Cash. Um. Okay. Anyways. So yeah. So that's what we want to see. So right now we're just holding steady, uh, coming down, stair stepping our way down, and holding these lines. And uh, so now we have a new support zone. Is basically like right there, uh, fifteen hundred basically. Okay. Let's see. If we we hold fifteen hundred. If not, we'll come back here and test this double bottom here. At 1350, so just boring. It's just boring, right? You know, stair stepping away down. Same thing with Ethereum, just stair stepping away down. Every chart looks the same. <laughs> Look at this, same chart. You know what I mean? And now stair stepping away down. Uh, the good. Th this is a sign that you know that the selling is coming to an end because we're st we're not we're no longer flushing down. We're stair stepping down. So when you start, when you see things stair stepping down, you know that there's not that much. There's not a lot of buyers, but there's not a lot of sellers as well. So it's just stair stepping down. This is where a lot of sellers were in. This is panic. This was panic right here. This is normal selling going on. Not you know, and people not a lot of buying yet. Okay, until we get a reversal indication candle, a a, a, a doji. We until we get a bullish doji. Uh, uh, doji or candle uh, the, the bulls are not coming in yet until we see that so right now we're just stair stepping down with low volume uh, and uh, low selling as well so let's see if we hold good news about ethereum is that this 50-day moving average is sitting right there right above this uh, this uh, you know this reversal so that 50 might be able to hold us um, you know and then we maybe just bounce off here for a little bit and then start going back up so let's see. We're coming to an end. You know, the 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 cell is coming to an end. So that's a good sign. You know what I mean? And I know the lunar, uh, the the uh, I guess it's the Asian lunar New Year stuff ends on February fifteenth. But I I think I think uh, people are going to start buying a lot earlier. I think this weekend, I think people you're gonna start seeing people buy a lot earlier. I think we're gonna see a nice boom. On Friday or Saturday, once the short positions are finalized, and uh, I think we're gonna go like something like, if we hold this line, we'll probably go something like this, and then straight back up. We'll test this, and then if we break it, we'll come right back up here like nothing ever happened. <laughs> okay, that's what I think, and then we'll probably come back, uh, test test these lines to make sure that support, and then continue higher, and uh, and then we're just gonna boom for for February, in my opinion. Um. Okay, so let's go to Litecoin. Same thing. I mean, there's really hardly any selling. It's just we're stair stepping down, and with low volume, and uh, and we're not moving much. You know, one eight one eighty one to one sixty five. I mean, that's pretty. That's okay, but it's not. It's not one of the. It's not this or this or this or this, right? Um, or even yesterday. So today's a smaller day. So smaller day so far. And that tells us that the sellers and buyers are small, and and so the, in the uh, in the in whatever you know whatever was going on, whatever trend is going on, is is coming to an end, and that means that right now we see that it's the selling trend and was coming to an end at some point. We and the you know the chart is bearish, but that doesn't mean um, that it do, that doesn't mean that we're not coming to an end of this and then going to finally make our way back up to break this and get up here. Okay, so um, so that's Litecoin. So Litecoin is way more bullish than the other ones. Because look at Litecoin. It's sitting here at, uh, you know, it touched 165. I mean, look at this support line right here at 146 and then way here at 135. Nowhere close. So uh, Litecoin is looking good, okay? Oversold as well. And uh, it's looking a lot stronger than the other ones because it's not even near touching these support lines. It's holding very well. Okay, so there you go. Um, and I think there's people online talking about Litecoin is going might could make it have might have a partnership deal with Google coming. I don't know. I we'll let Google and Amazon and Facebook and all these people 
uh, announce those announcements. Like Charlie Lee said, it's not up to him to announce it. It's up to them to implement Litecoin into their system. Okay, so it has nothing to do with Charlie Lee. Um, okay, so let's go here and let's check out the top 100. Let me reload it. Let's see how everything's looking. Things are looking like they're about to go green. Um, Ripple's up 6% right now. Stellar's up. Everything's no longer down triple digits any longer. You can see that the, the, the uh, we're almost coming to an end of this downward trend. It's almost coming to an end. There's just a couple more days left. Um, you're going to start seeing things go sideways. Mix, you're going to start seeing. And how we know is when you start seeing mix, uh, mix, mix markets. So you're going to see half green, half red, and you know what I mean? And then you're going to see it all go green. That's how you know that it's coming to an end. We're also going, you're not going to see no longer, you'll no longer see double digits, uh, sell, um, you know, percentages as well in the red. That's how you know things are coming to an end. So we're coming almost to an end to our, uh, to the bottom and uh, that's good news you know some of this stuff are still in red but Walton coin leads the way here 20 percent uh, looks like uh, electronium is about to go green here only down less than one percent we're tossing down eight percent today okay Pivx up 30 percent actually was up a lot more than that it's just starting to sell off now but Pivx had uh, joined Binance it, interesting because I was saying Pivx is going to I'm pretty sure Pivot's going to be on Binance and stuff like that. They're going to join more exchanges, and uh, they're going to be. A, it's going to be like a Monero when Monero joined uh, Bitthumb and just exploded, right? So Pivot's going to start to join a lot of these big exchanges, and it's also going to make a Monero type run. This is why I got into Pivot, right? So privacy coin. Um, yep, uh, Digibyte's up three percent. Smart Cash. Every time Smart Cash is up. It leads the way. That means the green markets are coming. So I always look at last couple of days. I've been looking at Smart Cash to dictate what the market's going to do. So Smart Cash is up 15%, leading the way. So that means the market's are about to go green. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see if that continues to play out. Um, Fun fares down. Syndicator still up. Power Ledger up 9%. Okay. And when Bitcoin, when Bitcoin is stable, you know what I mean? Like right in the middle, it's not down like more than 5%. It's only down like 1% or 2%. The altcoins uh, thrive off of that. They they really, they people, the money pours into the altcoins and they thrive off of that. So, uh, Substratin's at 111. I would like to get it at $1, you know, right here. Maybe make a double bottom here. You know, come down and touch this bottom at $1. That would be awesome. Um, not in yet. Uh, and then let's look at pillar. Um, let's check out pillar here. Pillar ninety seven cents up a little bit here. Um, check out titanium. Let's see what it's doing. Two thirty three. Okay. And let's check out um, cloak. Privacy cloak coin 14. Okay, still down. Um, air swap, air swap 87 cents still down. And bread waiting on that big announcement from bread 126. Okay, so there you go. So that is the coins. A lot of coins are still down, but they're not down double digits anymore. That's a good sign that we're and we're starting to we're starting to get smaller and smaller and smaller on the charts. So on the wicks. Uh, so that's a good sign that the uh, downward trend is coming. It's about to come to an end. Maybe by Friday, Saturday range, uh, the downward trend will be officially over, hopefully. And uh, we will start to either go ch go into a little channel or start to go back up and then go into a channel and then continue higher, go into a channel and then continue higher. So that's probably uh, start making higher highs and higher lows. Okay, so that's it. Talk to you guys later. See you guys with Allcoin Mania in a couple of hours. Peace out. Bye.